Hi, we're back. It's gone from two parts to three parts. This is part three. Let's see where this goes. Uh, translation from the Akumi. Um, uh, oof, their ninth density being, they really... They were the original idea collective to come up with the darkness idea. More on that later. Their work here to help is going to be constricted, so to speak, to higher vibrational incarnations in the third density or humans focused at this time. Because of their awareness level of what, when you, you know, obviously the higher you get, there's more knowledge, more understanding. Their highest, their ninth density, so they want to raise a multitude of <clears throat> light workers that have ascended to a level, again, no judgment, everything is equal in their own perfect time, but a level of understanding to allow the information to come in. But that's going to be very personal on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and they're just going to let, all they want to say is they're going to let you know they're going to come in a form of yellow dots um, that appear as, or tiny, tiny suns um, in a distance or in the room, and their vibration is very screechy. So when you get the piercing noise out of nowhere, they're there is what they want me to tell you. They will come to you, no way they're going to be able to incarnate. They're not going to lower themselves to that kind of vibration of incarnating here. But they also say you would not be able to translate them in a physical onset of your minds right now to actually put them in any form anyway. So no big deal. So it's all going to be clairvoyant, dream. But now, just remember that the dream states are going to be rememberable now. We're not going to, as a collective, cut off our memory of what we were truly doing. And because of those that have raised their ascension, understanding to allow this new world to come in, the dream states are now more translatable into this 3D density, physical world. And it's not, you know, monkeys flying jet airplane type of translations anymore. It's truly, okay, this makes sense. So your waking state after your dream, your remembrance of your dreams are going to be more cohesive. In that, that's where we'll do our discussions on our helps. Again, individual. Very, very individual idea. Each person's going to have an own individual understanding of that. Not in a way of helping a collective belief, but in a way of helping your own understanding of yourself so you can use your current tools and different aspects to help the collective belief. That it? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Hathor. Hi, Nakuru from the Hathors. Hi, thank you so much for being here. We've been with you for a long time, reading it. We've been with you for a long time. Thank you so much once again for your belief in ourselves, which means in yourselves, to allow us this interaction once again, for we lost interactions with you at a time of religious shift and we miss you but now we are back in full force there are over a thousand Hathors currently waiting and these are your incarnations some of your incarnations but some of us that we can come back in 3D once again, much like we did in three of your civilizations before. Most of you know two of them, and there's another one that has been still lost, yet undiscovered. Look, 
at the bottom of South America. Okay. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the next. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, we're back. We're here to help Roxanne with tonal and those of you who have chosen the Hathor vibrational healings of yourself but not healings in the way of pain to heal, to make yourself feel better. Healings in the way of forgetfulness to remembrance. I didn't know that either. That's cool. <laughs> cool. So that <clears throat> what we can translate best healings works best in that aspect instead of learnings because you do in a way equate the forgetfulness to pain although it's not it is only a transitional stage that you all are doing very well thank you once again so the Hathors again masters of tone masters of the four elements and the understanding it's our nickname Please don't think you go here. <laughs> they laughed. Um, the tonal healings, you will understand again, personal level. The elements, for those of you ch have chosen the natural idea of ascension as opposed to the civilization idea of ascension, which I've never heard of this part either. It's new to me too. We will explain more later on the differences between those two. Don't worry, it all leads to the same place. Good. So, I'm waiting. That's it? That's it. From the half doors. And uh, Luminary talked. Rakia talked. Pleiadians talked. Ah, how can I forget how long you? He goes... Okay, the Anani, uh, that was Sagioni, their entire idea is to help understand third to fourth density translations, transferous elements of this density and that density and how you can truly exist in this flesh in the fourth density. He really wants me to tell you that again. You're going to take your body with you as you choose to express it. As you choose to express it. Express it. Not your current body because of your belief systems. Your belief systems is who you are physically. Period. Get over it. Ooh, all right. <laughs> You can choose any form you want, even if it doesn't look like this, but it is a physical body. That's the gift we're giving you that we understand. All the elements of the 3D and all the elements of the 4D and how you can combine them to exist in both realities as not the conscience that you understand of awake and dream state, but the conscience of you understand of awake and dream state all as one. One continuous 360 degree visual world of third and fourth density or focus more on one or focus more on the other. But make no mistake about it, you can't take this 3D body into the fourth density without understanding the elements of what you will call breath, breathing, heat, cold, and how they won't affect you, but you can give yourself that reality if you choose. So, just understand, do you want to do that now? <laughs> Sacred geometry, those are elements of the fourth density. They are not 
symbols to do awe at. Look into it deeper. They're actual elements of giving you the understanding. In other words, you're getting flashcards of the future. To these sacred geometry are elements that exist in the fourth density so you can get familiar with them. And there's a few third density elements that you have not used fully. In other words, you skimmed over them of their real benefit and we will familiarize with yourself with those. So again, existing in both densities at the same time which uh, Gaia has already done. So she's, and don't, don't really think this is in that way real, am I saying that right? That fourth density and third density are actually separate. They're not. They can be right on each other. They can be anywhere. They're nowhere. But yes, Gaia is fourth density preparing for you, humanity, to arrive. Familiarizing herself with what actually is going to be workable as far as elements in that so we can exist in both. Which again is a gift from the collective of the all and the source. Good? Yes. And I think that was it, wasn't it? We did Hathors? Yeah. I think that was it. Any questions? <laughs> Hi. Any questions? Oh yeah, uh, we want to call it mental mail. Start practicing mental mail, which is telepathy. Start sending in your mind, write out an email to a friend, which you would call email, convert it into mental mail, thank you Jimmy, and send it to them. And start practicing. Call each other up. I sent you this. What did it say? I didn't get anything. Well, look at it now. Open it up in your imagination. That kind of thing. Start practicing this because telepathy is so much easier than the symbols you call words. <laughs> so much is lost in translation with words. It could be so much... Poetry is a glimpse of what telepathy can truly be to you. Just deep, 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 deep thoughts, understanding, impressions, immediately with two to three words instead of ten words for a sentence. It's just tone and impression. Listen to your Hathors when they come. They just impress. Wonderful. Good. Questions, anybody? Kibbles, bits, wink? One of your uh, 11 mm -hmm. was talking about giving birth to something. And mm. Why did you guys leave? That's right. They literally left. The Sasani and the the uh, Sasani and the Zeta Reticuli. Mm -hmm. They want to thank humanity for the co-creation and giving birth to the Sasani. And the Sasani, thank you for raising your ascension because without your raising of your ascension, there could not be the collective agreement of the co-creation to give birth to them. They like, thanks, kind of idea. They literally left. I don't know why. Maybe they had somewhere now to be. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe they just gave me the message to remind you. Yes. Me. <laughs> well, they did, apparently. Very good. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Zaders are, you know, the tall, taller greys. The short greys are the jesters of the court. <laughs> 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 They're just like to have a good time. So if you actually see one, give him some coffee and sit him down. He's tired. <laughs> Anyways, anything else? Time, Jimmy? Five minutes, four minutes, and then we'll end this one. Um, wink, anything? Um, perhaps you could speak more on each person's individual council of 11. Um, 
and uh, a, a method of, of mm -hmm. seeing it in your mind so that you can start working on it mm -hmm. and recognizing who you